How are we? Uh, happy, what is it? Fourth? No, it's uh, Thanksgiving, yeah. So it is. Thank you for everybody that subscribes to this channel and watches this inane drivel. It's uh, Thursday and it's about half past three, quarter to four in the afternoon. Uh, I'm supposed to take this thing behind me here with a load of spuds on it across to Wyoming to meet Frank that drives for West and swap trails with him. However, I got my daughter out, packed her bag and got everything ready, Mr. Organised. Had snacks, the whole the whole thing. We were ready for an expedition and <sighs> took a picture at the front of the truck, lifted her up, got her in the seat, took a picture through the window, jumped in myself and no air. <laughs> no air. Wouldn't you build air? So nowhere's open. It's Thanksgiving, so that's no chance to anybody there, so but it'll get fixed. No drama. However, if this was a bus and there was people waiting to be picked up, I don't miss that side of uh, coaches, that's for sure. This will just need to wait an extra day, and that'll be it. So, I've got some tools here with me to have a look at it and use my dizzy and intellect to try and figure out what's wrong with it, but we'll... Uh, see what we, can, what we can do but anyway I'll let you have a look out here it's not very warm it was froze over la overnight last night and I thought I wonder if there's a something and it maybe needed a new filter in the air dryer and it's frozen hard and you know, it's just letting air pass through the valve at the bottom of it but I can't even find the freaking air dryer on it it's got all these side fairings on it so and of course normally I back into this spot but because I'm going that way, uh, and I was coming from this direction, I thought I'll just pull in, nose into a spot, and I can back out and just pull straight out. So it's now it's in the freaking dirt and long grass and bugs and... <sighs> anyway, I'll see if I can have a quick fix. If I can't fix it, it'll need to wait till tomorrow. And I can always put a truck beside it and hook up the glad hands and uh, build the air up in the truck that way and pull it out, hook a chain to it and drag it out from below the trailer. So, don't want to have to do that, but there's always a chance it can snow as well at this time of year. I mean, like a, a high percentage chance. So, let me have a look. Hold on a minute. Okay, so in case you're wondering, looking at the truck, engine here, driver's side here, under there, you get your foot brake valve and all that here, and this is your governor here. Alright, so I'll just taking this off, this off, I'll need to, I'll need to take this fitting off, like take this off and then spin this around because I don't have the keys to get in the garage to get some other tools. I don't want to really disturb all this here. So another hose under there so if I can get this off here I'll uh, go to the yellow truck to see if it's the same one okay give me a minute thank goodness for loves truck stops see see you can help me another one <laughs> I better remember which one's a good one <laughs> So yep, they had the old uh, governor, so Frank's almost, he's about an hour away, so that's uh, that's handy. So if I can get this on, switch it over, unhook, boom, he can be heading straight back out again and uh, I'll go deliver his load in Twin Falls tomorrow, so. Okay, get back and see if we can put it back together with a knife and a fork and a spoon that I've been trying to do it with. But never be stuck okay so now we're living the high life <laughs> got a nice sunset over there i think the sun's gone right enough but anyway i hate doing things like this but we've got headlights and that's enough we've got a new one here got what i need to put it back together so hopefully we can get that done and 
get this aired up. Frank should be here in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, do what we can to get the truck outside from under the trailer. So, okay. Okay, that's us done. Freaking pitch dark now. I think it's all back together the way it should be. It's all on here. So, you want to share in the, the moment. I haven't tried it, honestly. I haven't tried to start it. Oh, geez, it's freaking a long way up, isn't it, some days? <sighs> all right, let's see what we got. We're looking at these two gauges down the right here with the red dots at them. Come on, baby. What are we thinking? If it doesn't go up, it's probably a compressor or something else. Oh, it's not bloody moving. Oh, bit of movement. Come on. Oh, keep going. Yes, it's higher than it has been. Pounds. I was only getting 25 so before, so something's definitely improved. We've got a light off, we've got another light off. Hey, hey. I don't know what that is, it keeps going on all the time, on constantly. I think since I've had this truck. <laughs> there you go, happy days. I just see when it blows off. There you go, never give up! Frank will be here any minute, I was supposed to meet him 250 miles from here, so... But we'll go to some air, that's a good thing. Oh, I felt the suspension going up, fantastic. Alright, back at you in a minute. Okay, so the trailer came back. And, uh... Got it unloaded yesterday. Take a look at the gap here. In fact, let's just have a little look. I'm dropping this off at the trailer shop. Yeah, it looked funny with those axles. Scuffed up tires. And if I look at this, right across there, this whole thing is knocked back. I don't know how many inches. I'll climb under here. I think my airbag is way bent out of shape as opposed to the new one that was fitted recently. The gap up here. And the other side is tight. So this axle here, this whole leg, something's been hit. So the driver says that he never felt anything. If I look at this sliding rail here, it's been pulled down as well. So something has been hit. Really very hard. So I would say there's probably five and a half, six inches there maybe of a gap. And then around there, this side, Probably 10 inches. And if you look straight through here, look at that, how far back that other chassis leg is bent down. So, don't know what these guys are going to do. Look at that frame rail there, the rail. It's bent down. Tire scuffed off. Have a look inside here. Going down any, there's a little bit. But 
that load with it that axle has been really hit hard on the other side and look at this frame rail along here and it's been walloped that's come off that's been knocked off all the way down the side into this up here Maybe that's some telltale sign, I don't know, but anyway, in light of that, I've got to unhook this trailer here, leave it to get fixed, and that leaves us this red truck here without a trailer. And I've got one sitting in Topeka, Kansas, without a truck. So, in order to save a bit of time, I'm going to jump into this. And myself and my daughter will bounce across to Topeka. Be there for Monday morning, pick it up, get reloaded, and bring it back here for Justin coming back off his vacation. But there you have it, eh? I can tell you this much if I'd been driving that, that wouldn't have happened. First time we got this Volvo, the Peterbilt, you just pull the handle on it and it pops right out. But these things go forward. Yeah. Yeah. So then we'll jump up. Oh, no, better low. Better drop the landing gear first. That's a two hand job. <laughs> Alright, get back to your second. So happy days there, eh? Freaking trailer. But I'll do this, I'll just pop out there and grab this trailer and uh, keep things running. As bad as you think you have things, it could always be worse. And we spin this round here to finish this video off. Now this total trailer here, um, it's kind of part of Super T transportation, Super T trucking, whatever they call them. But total trailer supplied me with my trailers and any maintenance, they are absolutely fantastic. I know that Josh, and Trent will take care of that trailer the best they can. I'll get a cracking price on it. Just good guys. But they're part of Super T, and I'll turn this around and let you see what happened with them last week. Hold on. That's their offices there. They welcome home drivers, their thank you drivers. And there's their workshop there. I think somebody was welding in there last week. Something caught fire. And, uh, Luckily, there's a fuel tank right beside it. Luckily, that never went up. But their place just went up in a matter of minutes. Complete blaze. So, as bad as you think you have it some days, that would have really suck to have that be the case there. So, anyway, it could always be worse. Is that Monty Python song? Always looking the bright side. <laughs> 